Good morning, Bangkok! Another beautiful morning in this uh, urban paradise. Well, okay, maybe not. I woke up uh, to this. It's the air conditioner leaking condensation onto my face all night long. Let's just say it wasn't that great of a morning. Anyway, the sun is rising. And it's time to head out to a giant, humongous, overbearing, ominous outdoor market. Once again, we join our Uber driver on a tour through the city on the way to the Shadow Check Weekend Market. This thing is enormous. Ten million trillion booths of clothing and souvenirs and ceramics and jewelry, uh, trinkets, etc., etc., etc. Plenty of free parking! Uh, well, if you can find a spot. How about you and I get lost in this shopping mecca? I hope you brought some money. One thing I noticed about Thailand is um, hardly anybody takes credit cards. Oh, let's stop and get some coconut juice. Fresh coconut juice with possibly a finger in it. That doesn't look too safe to me. Yeah. All right, where are we? Um, let's see, oh, there's some t-shirts. I would actually wear that. Wow, that's a good price for shorts. That's about four US dollars, I think. Shorts for 250, shorts for a dollar. Levi's. Real Levi's, not the fake ones. How about some aromatherapy products and scented soaps for the ladies? And some other kind of soaps. Uh, anyway, let's move on. Jewelry, bracelets, leather, small leather goods. Tons of jewelry in this place. Counterfeit, Thrasher, shirts, Lincoln Park. <laughs> Boxers. What do we got? Massage. And on cue, there's the lady holding the massage advertisement card. Alright, if you're getting hungry, you have plenty of dining options to choose from. I can't even begin to narrate all this, so just behold the sights and sounds playing before your eyes. I chose to dine at the Chicken Soup Garfield uh, restaurant. Anyway, it was awesome and it was like a few bucks. Ooh, custom handmade leather goods? Sign me up! Check out these original works of art. This guy takes recycled denim and makes it his own. So I hope you didn't bring a lot of clothing to Thailand. In fact, you could probably just come here with the shirt on your back 
and a wallet, of course, full of cash. And, uh, and you would end up leaving with more suitcases than you would know what to do with. I mean, this place is non-stop stuff. And that includes, of course, uh, quote-unquote Indian art. In case you want to bring home some quote-unquote Native American goods to give out as gifts. How about some uh, handmade Tom's style shoes? This is interesting. It's a cord organizer made out of scrap vinyl. Yeah. Ugh, I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. Too big for the suitcase though. What I do find interesting here is when you look down on the ground, you randomly are walking over open sewers. Okay, I don't know about you, but this is getting to be a little overwhelming for me. What do you say we find a way out of this maze and do something different? Okay, oh man, we found our way out. Uh, we didn't even cover 10% of that market. I mean, you could literally spend days there if you were inclined to that sort of thing, but uh, oh my gosh, even though we're on the street, I can't escape these vendors. There's just, there's people selling stuff everywhere. They could stop. <laughs> <laughs> Where is our Uber? Come on, Mr. Uber. Okay. Man. Oh, I'm glad to be in this Uber. Ah. Oh. Beautiful city stretching out before our eyes. It's time to find something different to do. How about we go to the Pat Pong area of town? Oh, we gotta, of course, we gotta check out the Starbucks first. Are there any Starbucks fanatics in the audience? As if we didn't do enough shopping already today, let's check out the merch inside of this Starbucks. Thailand mugs, anybody? I hope you have room in your suitcase. Starbucks is great and all, but I prefer the food and drink on the street. And it's more affordable. You probably can't smell this cooking through YouTube, but man, it's great. I am so ready to grab a bite. Just pay no attention to the uh, back area where they're cleaning your dishes on the sidewalk. I'm sure it's totally sanitary. If you want something that is guaranteed to be sanitary, how about this Temple of Burger King? Okay. Anyway, um, it looks like we are in for more shopping here. There's a few bars here. Plenty of vendors. Uh, whoa, counterfeits. This is the counterfeit market. Counterfeit watches, counterfeit pens, counterfeit lighters, counterfeit Yeezys. Uh, more bars, more counterfeit watches. Counterfeit belts, bags, counterfeit license plates, counterfeit pens. If you have no self-control, it's easy to lose every dollar in your bank account here. I don't know about you, but I am done shopping.
So we're gonna end the vlog, call it a night here in Thailand. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe and catch my next episode coming very soon.